So I have a scene with a bunch of guides and using a comb brush I'm just gonna make some uh, modifications to the guides so that they're not uh, evenly spaced and their shape is not very even but has some localized changes. So now what if I want to continue brushing but I want to for example take this selection and brush the strands in a way that the local changes between the strands are preserved because if I just brush right now you can see I'm disturbing the changes uh, relative to each other in the local strands and this may not always be desirable so if I go to my uh, tool settings for the brush if I scroll down there is an option a new option in Ornitrix version 4 beta called uh, modify by group and in here I can change the algorithm from none to linear space and now when I brush my strands sorry let me also well you can also see it on all the strands at the same time so if I brush my strands you can see that uh, I can change the shape the overall shape but the local changes between the strands are sort of preserved so uh, if I go and uh, select the effect selected only option I can now just brush just the selected strands and you see when I do that I am preserving the relative spacing between the strands while at the same time modifying the overall shape. So this is very useful if you already uh, created some kind of a groom where you have uh, different groups of strands and you don't want to destroy the changes that you already made but you still want to kind of uh, adjust the shape of the strands. So another thing I can do is do the same thing but make the changes by strand groups. So let me make a selection of some strands and then I'm going to go and enable my strand groups and assign for example a value of 1 to this selection and then assign a value of 2 to this selection and then to the rest I'm going to assign a value of 3. So I have now three strand groups and they're all different. I'm going to uncheck the effect selected only option and I still have my modify by group algorithm set to linear space. So now when I brush, I can only brush in a way that it makes changes to the whole groups of strands instead of individual strands. Again, this, this is very useful because you can separate your room into multiple parts and then modify each part individually without destroying the overall shape of your groom components. So check this option out in uh, Ornatrix version 4 beta that's available right now.